Okay. Hi, um, my name is Sophia. I'm with My Drop Wizard, and I'm new to the company. So, yeah, I'm here with Elliot. So. Yeah, I'm Elliot. I'm also with My Drop Wizard, and today we're going to try to give a, uh, a brief introduction to uh, what we call Round Earth, which is our Drupal plus Civi CRM platform. But uh, you can think of it as a management software solution for nonprofits. That's right. So we're going to just start off uh, a little bit with what is Round Earth. And afterwards, we're going to just answer a few questions and just show you a little bit how Round Earth works. And, and we're, how... and, and we're going to try to keep it brief. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, when we when we did this the first time, it, it clocked in at thirty eight minutes, and we're going to try to get it down to fifteen. So we're going to do our best. Exactly. <laughs> so uh, okay. I'm sorry I interrupted. What's what's Round Earth? Oh, okay, yeah. So Round Earth is a software product that uh, was developed by My Drop Wizard, and it's basically used to help nonprofits manage different tools and get like their goals, um, like kind of get their goals to the most effective way possible and um so it uses collab features of drupal 8 and um, all the contact management features from cvcrm and yeah that's basically it so about yeah so uh so just a quick recap uh drupal uh not to be too technical but it is a cms which uh people may or may not have heard of uh, a CMS is a product like Drupal or WordPress, which uh, you might have heard of. Uh, Drupal is the second most popular. WordPress is the most popular. And it's just a way of publishing content on your own website on, online. Uh, and uh, Civi CRM, to be real brief, uh, I like Sophia's uh, uh, answer to this. Civi CRM is basically a super powerful address book. Uh, and uh, while it's a lot more than that, uh, that is a good starting point just to give people an idea of what it is. It, it holds all your contacts and everything kind of related to contacts in an organization. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> when I first saw it, I just, um, I right away thought about a, an address book. So, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, I think we can just keep keep on going. What's next? Okay, so um, I'm going to start off with asking a couple of questions. And um, so who can use Round Earth? Uh, so in my opinion, everyone, uh, but especially small businesses and nonprofits. Do you have anything to add right. to that, Sophia? Um, not really. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But um, okay, so th my next question would be, um, so how is it for someone um, with not much experience or technical background, uh, how easy is it to use? So I'll try to give the short answer this time. Uh, yeah. As a as an end user, I think it's super easy to use. And we'll, we'll try to show that in the demo. As somebody who uh, is setting it up like uh, on a server and doing technical stuff, um, there are some technical hurdles yet, but uh, you know, every day that gets a little bit easier too. So I think uh, for anybody, depending on their experience level and how much hands-on work they want to do, it is easy. Yeah. Okay. Um, also, how simple is it to transfer um, like the software that you're already using um, to Rounders? So while I was waiting for the, the noise to get uh, over with uh, in my neighborhood. I'm recording outside in beautiful Green Bay, Wisconsin. Um, and uh, uh, so uh, while I was waiting for that, I actually started on the project of migrating our, ourselves at MyDrop Wizard to our uh, Round Earth platform. And uh, while I haven't uh, actually gotten that far on it, um, it is pretty easy. So from a CRM standpoint, uh, moving like your address book, like so to speak, uh, most software has some sort of an export facility and uh, you should be able to import most of those things into Round Earth. But uh, that might be worth uh, having another video on. Um, but, uh, and so, that, so that's the CRM side. On the Drupal side, uh, that is usually even easier uh, because uh, Drupal has a long history of migration tools. And even besides that, you, you tend to not have, most organizations don't have that much uh, public facing content. So to get up and running quickly with your public facing content, you can do even copy paste for a lot of that. So it's it's usually very easy. Right, okay. Uh, well, thank you. Thank you for all your answers and um, all your knowledge. So uh, I, I guess we're gonna just 
jump right into the whole demo. Yeah. Um, if we can. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, uh, and, and, uh, you know, jump in with your, with your questions and everything. I think that's, that's the most important thing. So, uh, on here I have, uh, uh, I'm logged in to what is literally our, uh, our round earth. Um, we're, we're using our own, uh, software that, that we're working on. Um, so you'll, you'll notice, uh, if you've experienced Drupal or WordPress, uh, these are kind of the CMS tools. So the, the tools to, uh, work on content. And uh, Sophia, you set up a Drupal site. So, uh, what are your thoughts on on the Drupal side? This this menu bar here. Okay. Yeah. Actually, um, as soon as I started working on it, it was all um, prioritized. So basically, all the most important stuff is on the left side, and the the least used, not less important, but like least used, is on the right. So. Um, we usually start off with content and that's where you add like everything that you, you want to add to your website. Um, so I'm so going like, to go ahead and I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and click on content. So people yeah. can see that. Go ahead. And yep. um, so, yeah, uh, we, we can use like, uh, you usually click on add content, right? Yeah. So here's this big blue button. Um, so <laughs> Drupal, Drupal has this uh, reputation of being hard to use. But if you think about it in terms of priority, like Sophia said, um, I, you know, it, it doesn't seem that hard to click on add content to me. Yeah, me either. <laughs> so. And, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. yeah. So there you have like two, two options. Um, either you want to add a content page or just like news, which is um, usually something new that you want to add that's kind of important for you. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and click on news. Um, one one thing about Drupal is it's extensible, so you're not limited to these two types of content. You can add more, but out of the box, this is what Round Earth comes with. Yeah, because everything is completely custom and stuff. <laughs> right, Which is right. Great. Yeah, it's very customizable. So um, in here, uh, I don't know if you want to you want to just talk through the how to, how you create a news item here. Well, um, you just add your title, um, all your whatever you want. And um, and then for your body, like you add whatever you want as well. And the cool thing is you can just down there in uh, text format, you can kind of add whatever like you need. Um, I think there's two options, right, for text format. Uh, yeah, and most people don't even have to worry about that. So they can usually just leave this alone and, uh, you know, the, out of the box, it comes with, you know, this whizzy wig, uh, that's kind of the term for it, uh, format <laughs> where you can, you, you can do things like, you know, italicize text and bold text and add links and add bullet items. Um, you know, so things like this, so you can very quickly create a, a, a nice looking, well-organized blog post. Right. Yeah. Um. And then uh, there's a section for a featured image. So uh, I like to think of this as like if you have a list of news items, this is like the image, you know, like the, the headline image, so to speak. So that so that's that. And then uh, we have a couple built in types, some tags, and then you can just you can preview it. You can hit save. You can keep it unpublished for now if you want your team to review it. Um, yeah. Anything else on, on uh, content in Drupal? Um, no, not much. Um, well, we yeah, have this is all like for you to put on your website. So. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. these are all these are all the public facing things. So that when we talk yeah. about the Drupal part of Round Earth, it's about public facing. So, like uh, Sophia said, the uh, news updates, blog posts, and new pages. Like that's usually those are the main things that uh, that a public facing site has. Yeah. So um, also, how do you, how would we create a new event and like. Whatever. Yeah. So so uh, so then we jump into the Civi CRM side uh, for right, a lot for a, for a lot of those things, right? right? So so then we see this this other menu kind of open up. So tell me about this a little bit. So uh, this is Civi CRM, and uh, for this you just press search. Um, where's yeah. the search button? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So on the on the very left hand side, same kind of thing. So it's prioritized left to right and top to bottom in each of the menu items. So the very first thing on the far left is search. Uh, and if you're dealing with contacts, you're going to 
probably be searching for existing contacts more than adding new contacts. So that's the way I like to think of it. So I happen to be in here, so I'll just type in my name. And uh, then I can just click on this guy. And so this, uh, is, this is my contact record. Yeah, there you are. <laughs> and so again, uh, things are organized left to right. So the summary is right here. Contributions are important. Pledges, man membership, uh, activities. These are things like emails, phone calls, event membership, all this kind of stuff. So, so left to right from mo usually most used to least used uh, is kind of how things are laid out in both Drupal and so VCRM. Yeah. So, so, so that's and, a lot easier. <laughs> Yeah, so you want to just uh, we can go kind of one by one through these uh, these this top menu. So, um, so, so we did contact. search. We did search. So in contacts, um, what would you want to do with a contact? You probably want to create like a create new a one. new yeah. Right. So we have a new individual, new household, and new organization. So an individual is like this record here, and organization is like a company. Household is is used by uh, by you know families. So like if you want to group together um, uh, a mom and the kid, uh, you can totally do that in here. So uh, then uh, we can kind of just keep moving on. So tell me about contributions. Well, contributions are um, for people that uh, donate money, right? Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, so any kind of contribution, really. But usually they're financial, right? So you would do sure? something like, uh, you know, there's a dashboard view so you can see all the contributions. Um, but let's let's just go ahead and click on new, new contribution here. So this is, uh, so we can apply a new contribution. So we, okay. we uh, so again, we'd, we'd pull in a contact. So I can just... Uh, Pull in me, since I know I'm in here, and and we, we can just like throw an amount in here. Let's say I, I did a hundred dollars, and uh, we just I think that's really all we need. We can just hit save. Boom. Oh, so it actually says uh, financial type. Uh, yeah, so we want to know if it was a donation or what what kind, right? So let's right. say it's a donation, and I think that might be it. So it you know it, it keeps you from making mistakes, obviously. So if it, there's a required field, it, it lets us take care of that. Yeah. So. Yeah. Anything else to say on contributions? No, not not from me. I'm not completely sure about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I mean, uh, you know, I think for for a nonprofit, these things are super valuable and super easy. They are. Um, right. You know, and even in, the, in this overview of my contribution, there's even a column for thank you sent. So you know, if you want to send a thank you, and you can document like who we sent thank yous to and everything. I th I think that's you know, for a nonprofit, these are just critical tools. They are. Yeah. And that's the cool thing about Round Earth that um, a lot of the tools that you would use from outside sources, it, it's all in inside of Round Earth. Yeah. So, yeah. All right. So that's contributions. What's next? Events. So yeah. like every um, nonprofit, they, everyone has events and we all need to plan them. So <laughs> here it is. Yeah. So my, my brief thoughts on events. Uh, so this encapsulates uh, public events, but also even private organization events. And what's cool about having it all tied into your public website is it's a simple checkbox to make it a public event. So I, th I think that's super powerful. But uh, the other the other critical tool of having this all in encapsulated in the same software product is uh, that you can track the participation in events. So your, your users, your members can register for events and that's all trackable then. So you can send follow-up emails based on if they're coming to an upcoming event, if they haven't registered, if they have, all of these things by having that information all in one system, communication is really easy to do. Exactly. Um, so, so the next one would be mailing. Yeah, and we've done a couple videos on the mailing power of Round Earth. But again, uh, all of the things that we've covered up to this point, you can tie all of that into mailings. So just like I said, um, you can you can send a mailing out to all your contacts to a certain subset of contacts based on zip code or city, on if they've contributed, if they've attended events, or, or vice versa, if they have not. Um, so it's super powerful. And you can see, you can even do things like A-B testing of emails. So there's a tremendous amount of power built into the mailings. Right, and that's one of the basic needs that every, a lot of different, um, well, everyone needs, right, um, for mailings and stuff. Yeah, 
yeah, so there is, um, and actually Civic CRM even lets you track like uh, post, postal mailings if you wanted to send something in the mail. Um, and it, it can help you with SMS campaigns for text messages. So it's very robust. But the most common thing, of course, is email. Uh, email is the lifeline of business and nonprofits, uh, you know, in you know in current times. So um, it's super powerful. And uh, I uh, would urge you to check out some of the other videos where we dig more into that. So kind of the last tab here, uh, what's memberships all about? So um, a lot of nonprofits have memberships and um, not all of them, but most of them do. And this is where like you can just add a new member or just look for members, like, um, like kind of look for reports or like whatever is really needed for like um, a membership. Yeah, so, I, I, I think that's great. So, you know, uh, sometimes you want to have uh, content that's protected from non-members. And yeah. by, ha by having uh, the, the CMS and the CRM put together, uh, it allows you to do that uh, relatively easily. Uh, so you can have protected contact uh, content. You can have um, uh, the ability to, to have members see other members and, and things like that, uh, all based on these membership levels. Um, and then the other stuff is kind of the not used super often, uh, like reports. This is more of an administration level thing. Uh, administer is meant to change settings uh, throughout the rest of uh, the Civi CRM system. So uh, this was meant to be a brief overview. So I, I, I didn't check the clock to see how we're doing on time. But uh, you have anything else you want to add, Sophia? No, I'm good. This is great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I, th I think that's a good overview. Uh, if anybody has questions about Round Earth or would like us to demonstrate anything else in a future video, uh, you can contact me on Twitter. I'm Elliot, E-L-L-I-O-T. You can follow Round Earth on Twitter also, Round Earth IO. Uh, and you can also follow My Drop Wizard on Twitter. Uh, you can also look me up on LinkedIn. Uh, I'm Elliot Christensen on LinkedIn. What about you, Sophia? Yeah, you can um, you can look me up on LinkedIn. I'm usually um, looking for uh, future prospects to try and get round earth for them. And um, yeah, my name is Sophia Saldana. So if you get a, a message from me, that's that's where I'm at. And yeah, sounds great. Uh, you know, thanks thanks for uh, overcoming your nervousness and uh, uh, sharing. You know kind of as a new user, uh, I appreciate yeah. your perspective on all this. So thanks, Sophia. And I think uh, that'll, that'll do it. Thank you, Elliot. All right, we're good. <laughs> okay.